Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff. This is Hey Fro Sales, and we are going to talk what sold uh, on eBay. We're going to talk about what sold locally. Uh, but first, I want to start out and give a thank you. Uh, I hit a little bit of a milestone yesterday. Uh, I went over 100 subs, and I now have more subs than I do videos, which up until yesterday was not the case. So I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed, liked, commented. There's been some really good dialogue on some of these promoted listings uh, based posts. Um, and I want to thank you guys for, there's some really, really amazing dialogues going on. Good information. Uh, kudos to you guys. I'm going to be calling eBay tomorrow. Uh, I was super busy today. I had to get like my oil changed and I was at my daughter's all evening. I had a bunch of local sales I'm going to talk about. Uh, so I didn't actually get much work done today. Uh, so tomorrow's going to kind of be back to normal. Um, I'm going to try to follow up with eBay because they never got back to me, which I'm not surprised, even though the conversation with the lady that I had was so it was really, really good. She said she was going to call back. I, I, I kind of believed that she was going to. But, um, no, nothing. So I've got that avenue that I'm going to pursue. And I also wanted to throw this out there that if anybody had, like, any specific questions about, like, because I'm going to be on the phone with them. And so, you know, I know it can be a hassle to have to call into eBay. Um, but I, I don't mind. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like... We should hassle them about about what's going on, but anyhow, if you have any questions that you think that that I could ask for you guys, uh, I, I don't have any examples. I'm just I, I was just thinking about this. I'm like, well, you know, maybe someone will have thought about something, an angle, a question, uh, something that we could, uh, you know, maybe get a little bit more information. I don't know. I really don't know. I do have another angle that I'm trying to follow up with. Uh, I actually have a friend, like this is nuts. Like uh, I have a friend who works for eBay in Colombia. Like we basically met on a call and we kind of bonded and we became friends and uh, like we're friends, we're, we're friends on IG. And I, I reached out to him tonight. Um, and it's a delicate line because I don't want him to think I'm taking advantage of this friendship. So I asked him if I could ask him a question about eBay and uh, it's late there, he's probably in bed. So if he says yes, uh, I am gonna kinda explain to him what's going on and see if he can offer any insight. I mean, it's it's better than nothing, right? It's He works for eBay. So I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's a man on the inside, right? So let's see what happens. So, my one store, my wife's eBay store, I haven't had a sale since yesterday at 3 p.m. My, my impressions are, are still remain extremely low. On my store, I woke up and I had three store, three stores, three sales, um, two, like one sale and two offers, which I'm, I'm gonna show you guys what sold. And um, I haven't had anything since. Not only that, I'm finding that the amount of people who are adding things to their watch list to where I can send offers has severely diminished. So it's like people aren't seeing my listings. Um, so let's start with what sold on eBay today. Uh, I just, I, I think I showed you guys these, but I just picked up six of these Belican Beer Mayan Temple Brewery Fresh Glasses. I'm just gonna show you one because the rest of them I'm in the process of starting to package. Um, they're all in really good shape. Um, I paid, uh, you know, sometimes when I find, and it's a really unique logo, right? I mean, I think it's a unique logo and I'd never heard of it before. And I always check brewery kind of related products because if you can find, you know, this was six, 
and it's unique and I did check some comps and they do seem to sell for anywhere from 12 to $15 a glass, you know, you can get a premium for things like this. So six of these sold for $76. I had them listed for 89. They hadn't get, gotten sucked into a sale yet. Uh, I didn't, I did not send an offer. It was so I figured, you know, I, I always have 10 to 20% baked into my pricing. Uh, so, and it was, my, well, like I said, it was an offer that I accepted. And I know right now this environment is just like, it was already bad. It was already crappy and slow with the summer slowdown. But after the June 16th flip switch, June 16th, whatever, um, eBay did something. And there is like a, a, a dual, there's like two experiences going on with eBay that I'm finding. Some people are having phenomenal sales and other people, nothing. Um, I, I alluded and I talked about this concept that eBay spreads the wealth around. And this isn't my, this isn't my concept, but this is also something that I've always kind of suspected that eBay kind of caps where we're allowed to, you know, how much money we're allowed to make. And once you kind of hit that cap, then they kind of turn your store off. And I mean, I don't even think that's legal to be honest with you, but I, we would never be able to prove it. It's really just a theory, but it, there does seem to be times when our stores just don't do anything. And I know I, I know I freak out a little bit internally. So I'm assuming you guys freak out as well because feeling it, it makes you feel very vulnerable as a seller. Like, we're really not in control of our own financial destiny, per se. I don't know. I don't even know where this rant, this isn't even a rant. This is just me expressing, uh, you know, emotions and, and kind of like assuming that you guys are feeling the same things based on a lot of the comments that, and, and, and stories that I'm hearing. Um, I picked this Seagram's VO uh, Manhattan shot glass do that um the same day that i i bought that bellican beer and um sold this for 16 dollars. so as i said the bellican beer glasses six of these sold for 76 dollars. i probably if my sales were normal i probably would have countered i probably uh i probably would have been firm firm with my price but knowing how things are right now, I mean, I'm not going to accept just anything, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was a fair offer. I was, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to sell those. Uh, this is a little, a little lot of Adventure Time. Well, there's a trade paperback in there. Uh, you see it's a trade paperback, volume, it's volume three. And then there's a couple individual comics uh, this one's actually signed these didn't sell for much um i mean the guy i had him listed for 20 he offered 10 i countered he offered he countered at 12 and i just like did not feel like playing the counter i did not feel like playing the back and forth game i'm like he's obviously not going to spend that much i've got tons of inventory so i'll, I'll let them go i, I bought those oh, oh the shock the seagram shot glass i paid to you know about a buck and a half for that and the and these adventure time comics i bought in a lot that was basically it for ebay um i did want to talk about those vhs tapes that i sold the other day let me see if i can Okay, this is awaiting shipment, so let's do all orders. So I, I sold uh, three VH, H, VHS tapes the other day, and you definitely need to be on the lookout for either the VHS. So it's Brian Jack Jacques, Brian, B-R-I-A-N, J-A-C-Q-U-E-S, Redwall. It's, a, it's an animated 
Now, the VHS sold for 35, but the, the guy had, you know, we were having a conversation and he had mentioned that the DVDs go for a really good premium as well. And I did check them out. And I suggest checking them out as well uh, for you because they go, like there's different seasons and they go anywhere from like 50 to 90. And if you get like a bundle, they go for hundreds of dollars. So um, that's definitely a uh, an animated series to be on the lookout for. So there's your really strong tip of the day. <laughs> Uh, I had never heard of them. It was just one of those things like I sometimes I just see something and I'm just like, you know, the reason why some certain some shows or VHSs or, or like even like certain DVDs go for a lot of money is because they're not really streamed anywhere. There's a, um, there's a Kevin Smith DVD. I think it's Mallrats. I'll have to double check that. Let me write that down and then I'll, I'll check later. I think it's Mall Rats that goes for a significant premium. Uh, I'll follow up and, and, and if it's not that, I'll figure out which one it is and I'll, I'll mention that in the next video. But it's, it's like one of those DVDs that they have control of the rights. So it's really, it's, it's, it's not distributed and it's nowhere. So you actually have to buy the DVD. Um, all right, so on to the local sale. I had a real, so basically I had today three eBay sales for $104 and three, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. I had three local sales for $135. The fact that I had more sales locally, well, more, I made more locally than I did on eBay is nuts when you think you're about 8,400 listings on eBay. So let's get to, so all right, so I don't actually have them all. I actually don't, I don't have any of them. Like, like it was one of those things that everything just sold super fast. I believe I did take a picture of the Nike bag and put it up on the, on the, on the, on the, like, it's like a Twitter feed within YouTube. It's, it's very similar to that. It was a Nike provincial basketball bag. I sold that for $35. That was my daughter's from when she played basketball. Um, it was massive. It was oversized. It was in amazing condition, but it was also at this, it was like five, six years old. Um, I, I'm just glad it's gone, to be honest with you. I thought it would go for more because it was kind of unique, uh, but maybe it was just unique to me because it was my daughter's. I sold a pair of Nike's Women's uh, Fit Agility Zoom. Nike's Women's Zoom uh, for 80 bucks. Um, with, here's what's crazy is that I don't know why I had them listed for only 40 on eBay and they weren't selling. Maybe it's because it's an extremely competitive category and I don't promote, so my listing was never seen, but I, I literally sold it for twice as much locally. Normally, nine times out of 10, probably nine and a half times out of 10, when I list something locally, I'm actually listing it for less than I do on eBay. Just because I know you have to find, like you're, you're, you're fishing in a, a pool of buyers that is significantly lower. And yeah, I don't know, like just people, you know, people locally, they don't spend as much, but that wasn't the case with this. You know, I was, I, when I took it down from eBay, I was like, wow, this is a first for me, selling something for double the amount that I had it listed on eBay. And then I sold a CK watch. It was this cool little, uh, like, uh, white gold with pink. Um, but I bought it for a buck at a garage sale. Now, I don't, I don't know if it worked. And... I don't know, like, I got freaked out, like, with the whole Vero thing, and I'm just thinking, I, I don't know if it's real, I don't know who would be, you know, making fake CK watches, I don't even know if it's a thing, but I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna sell it locally, and it took a little while to sell, but, uh, yeah, you know, one into 20, I'll take that. Now, tomorrow, I've got two sales already lined up. I've got this Uline tape dispenser I'm selling locally for 12 bucks. Uh, I got this for free. Um, 
somebody was just giving away. I ended up picking two brand new ones up and a, and a, and a used one. Well, it was just not in a box. Uh, I've sold the other two. I think I sold the, the used one for five and the other one for 10 and this one's selling for 12. So that's 27 bucks that I just found on the street. And uh, I'm selling these boots that were my wife's uh, for 60 bucks. They, they're basic, they're um, Aldo books, well, books, they're Aldo boots. They're, they're actually quite old and they're not, they're, they're not, they're, they're ne they've never been worn outside. But, um, but they're starting to, they're starting to kind of like wear on the insides a little bit. So I listed them tonight. I start, like normally I list in a few different spots locally. I, I literally just listed them on Marketplace. Um, and then I had to leave and then I got two, two people were interested in it and, um, yeah, so, so a person's coming tomorrow and then, uh, she asked if I have, if, there, if I have any other shoes and my wife pulled out a few other shoes and, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to upsell her or not, but I'm certainly going to try. So, yeah, I mean... It wasn't a bad day of sale. You know, it was two thirty nine, but it's unsustainable to think that I can outperform my eBay store with local sales. It's just, uh, it's just there's some there's something about right now that's just leaving a really bad taste in my mouth with uh, you know the impressions and the lack of traffic and. You know, eBay trying, it's like eBay is gaslighting me. That's exactly, it's exactly what's happening. And and I know that, I know that they're basically telling the same thing to other buyers who, who I'm sorry, other sellers who are calling in and saying like, hey, because it seems like on the 16th, they flipped a switch and everything kind of went dark for a select amount of buyers, sellers. And I don't know the common theme. I don't know if it's where the ones not promoting. I know that's some people's theories. Some people's like, if you're not promoting at 10% or above, then you are not getting traffic. Uh, here's the strange part. Right before I got on this call, I was kind of checking out a couple of my listings. I would uh, go to an incognito browser and you know type in not the exact phrase, but like, and, and some, you know, a lot of my listings are coming up pretty high. So I don't know. Like, I feel like, I just feel, I feel like I'm being gaslit right now by eBay. So um, let me know if that's how you feel. And let me know. Um, I, I, I know a lot of you guys are, you know, really starting to consider or starting to cross list. I think tomorrow I'm going to try to get Bonanza set up. Although, I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to at least look more into that. Um, other than that, you know, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. There have been per periods of time in the past where things have been slow and, and it turns around. I'm hoping this is just a blip. I'm trying to treat this as a, like it's just a blip and, uh, you know, just do the best I can do right now and we'll see what happens. I I, I know a lot of you are, are experiencing a lot of a lot of this as well. And you know, I, I wish I had more to report. Um, I wish I had the answers, but I don't. All I can do is tell you what I'm doing, show you what's set, what's selling, show you, show give you try to give you some ideas of things to buy and sell, and you know, keep the conversation going, guys. Uh, I really, I really appreciate this. Like it's I'm learning from you guys as well in this journey. And I, and I truly appreciate anybody who, who has committed to, you know, subscribing and sharing this information. It, it's, it's humbling and I really appreciate it. So we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be able to get some information from eBay. And as I said, if you guys can think of anything you want me to ask them, uh, or at least, you know, possibly give me some other ideas, suggestions on, on what I could, you know, possibly ask them. I'm, I'm open to that. Um, so anyhow, take care and we'll talk soon. Remember to feed the algo, YouTube algo monster. Take care.